Spicy Thai fish cakes paired with a delicious cucumber and peach salad. They make such a great team. Flavor and texture come together for an exciting meal. In my enthusiasm for all things Thai, I've come across a great fish cake recipe. And I love it because it's a perfect way of incorporating fish into our diet and potentially hiding it for those who don't like it so much. But it's also really, really fast and easy. I'm going to use haddock. I've used salmon, mackerel, really whatever I have on hand. And it goes straight into the food processor. Just give it an initial blitz. Then add a little coconut milk, a classic Thai ingredient. If you have any left over, just freeze it. It freezes beautifully. And a little fish sauce. It really doesn't smell good, but it brings out all the flavors and the other ingredients. A little ginger. Slice through and don't worry at all about how beautiful your cuts are because it's going to get blitzed together with everything else in the processor. And some kaffir lime leaves. These are indigenous to Southeast Asia. If you can't find them, you could easily use lime zest and juice. And they have an incredibly floral aroma that are just going to take these fish cakes to another level all together. In and anchovy paste. This will last forever in your fridge and a little touch of it adds a great salty flavor. Bird's eye chilies go in next. They look so innocent, but these little guys are so spicy. They pack a punch and a lot of the heat is in the seeds, so I'm going to scrape that out to avoid knocking anyone's head off. I love the little pop of red that chilies provide in these little fish cakes. Some garlic. Take the skins off by just using your body weight on the flat side of the knife. With ease and grace, <laughs> allow the skins just to fall. Right in. Little green onion. I generally just cut through the green onion until the dark green part. Save the rest for chicken stock or vegetable stock filled with flavor. They get a little stringy in the food processor. Little cayenne pepper for extra heat. Why not? And cumin for warmth. I'm going to blitz this. It's like a little rainbow in there. Rainbow. Lovely. I am going to fry these in a little coconut oil. Adds flavor. And apparently, when heated, coconut oil doesn't lose any of its nutritional benefits. So why not? Healthy by accident. I'm going to make some patties about golf ball size. Who's kidding who? I don't play golf. Maybe like peanut butter ball size. That's more appropriate for me. You could serve these as an appetizer and make them nice and small or a little bit bigger for a main course. Completely up to you. Look at these little beauties with the red chilies and the garlic and the lime leaves. Just gorgeous. Such an easy dinner. While these are frying, I am going to make a mango salad inspired salad. Instead of mango, I'm going to use peaches and cucumber because that's what I have. What you're looking for is something crunchy and a little sweet to sort of off balance the very aromatic kind of pungent yet sweet sauce that goes with the salad. One of the best parts of the salad is using my mortar and pestle. Handful of cashew nuts. You could also use peanuts. They're traditional in this recipe. And again, some more heat from a bird's eye chili. I'm just going to cut right through it this time. Add lots of extra heat to this little salad. It's just pound away. So satisfying. There we go. I'm going to use peaches, as you know, and these are funny ones. They're like smashed. I call them donut peaches. Cut around and twist. That's the best way I've discovered. Chop them roughly. It's not going to be pretty because they're very awkward. Just can't judge a fruit by its shape. 
slice this up a little bit. Crunchy cucumber. Cucumbers carry the flavor of the dressing so well in this salad. By all means, use mango or papaya. And we're going to add a little salt with the fish sauce. A little sour from the juice of a lime. You could also use lemon. Yes. It's going to be delicious. Sweetness from some brown sugar. You could also use palm sugar, which is the traditional ingredient. Whatever you can find. All right, let's check on these. Gorgeous. Oh, these smell so good. They're so pretty. I'm going to spoon this into a serving bowl. Let all the nice crunchy, garlicky, cashew, chili bits to sort of coat the veg. Okay. Just going to add a little cilantro to the salad. Color and flavor. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. Now, to make sure they're ready, just break a little cake apart and make sure it's not translucent on the inside. These look good. All right, a little serving plate. I like to serve these cakes with sweet chili sauce. And sweet chili sauce is delicious, mixed with a little sour cream or yogurt. Creme fraiche would do. Adds that kind of creamy, sophisticated quality. Grab a nice bowl, whip up a very easy sauce with sour cream and a little sweet chili sauce, which is exactly as the name suggests, sweet chilies. They use a spoon and a fork in Thailand, not chopsticks, I've learned, but uh, fingers are also totally acceptable. Mm. Oh my gosh. Delicious, I'm gonna double dip. Yum. And the salad is crying out to be sampled. So hard to imagine a peach in this situation, but it's delicious. There is so much personality in this bowl. Woo! Bird's eye chili! Quick little meals that can be both bite-sized or a main course. It's a great way to keep things convenient in the kitchen. Yours truly, Fish Cakes.